are these people? Um, fucking Palestinians suffer the same, you know, no matter, yes. no matter who, who you, you want to throw your, your weight on right now, they all suck when it comes to what's going on in the Middle East. <laughs> and this, and honestly, this isn't even the first time that Gaza's gotten leveled since Joe Biden's been in office because very yeah. few people remember May of 2021. I, I, yep. I, I, I can't forget. I mean, it was, yeah, that was one of those that I, I you know, watching the footage of that building going i mean that, that, that the ap yeah. building the media building when when they did that i mean that was a, a mm -hmm. terrible scene yeah, and this is so it. much this is so much worse now and oh god yeah oh. yeah i honestly i i think i mentioned in a couple chats earlier that like i i was so excited for this show and needed it but at the same time with everything i mean i'm sure everyone your your feed right now is is what's actually happening in in gaza and it's uh one of the first times i've i felt like i it was, i couldn't do it anymore i didn't even want to open open twitter cuz i knew what what was waiting for me but yep. it's the same thing as i you know if 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 ever there is a time to not look away it's right now um mm. but i i also was like god i needed to really find find the excitement uh in me for tonight which is why i was like you know what i'm gonna dress like the casino dealer from the mm -hmm. thumbnail and then as soon as i put this on i was like all right we got a show where you know what i uh had a little tequila i i got my apple and um again as soon as i hop in here and like there's there's familiar faces in chat like i love you guys so much it really um it's it's just the best i can think of no better way to spend a tuesday night uh, except for our next show, because it's going to be a Halloween episode. So, um, Shit. start, start deciding what you might want me to dress as. <laughs> Otherwise I'm just going to wear my like medieval merchant outfit that I will be wearing to this wedding next week. Um, my cousin's getting married in like a Dungeons and Dragons themed costume wedding and everyone's asked to dress appropriately. So I got like a puffy shirt with the lace up this business big sleeves um i oh, look like, like, a, like a, a mariachi band player. like a, a seafaring merchant um so i'm keeping keeping my hair long for the time being i'm thinking of cutting it soon but i'm gonna do a little uh a little of the fucking uh qui-gon pull a couple strands around braid them up in the back nice look dope <laughs> and then yeah then i'm probably gonna cut my hair after that because i'm sick of it <laughs> you know you are you're going to the ren fair is that is that what you're going for essentially if a ren fair was a wedding it's going to be my son's first wedding he'll have attended and it's going to give him the most off the charts idea of what a wedding is supposed to be <laughs> and that's going to be his reef for the rest of his life <laughs> reef i hate to say it because we've already talked about um we, we've shown ai jesse i hate to to mention he who must not be named but i had a brilliant idea the other day to make a a parody of rich men north of richmond about uh the shadow over in's mouth by hp lovecraft and call it fish men north of in's mouth <laughs> so oh my God. just a thought i'm kicking around <laughs> one of those things as soon as i thought about it the lyrics started happening in my head i'm like god damn it now it's now this is a whole project <laughs> i can't say no to me um, <laughs> all right once jesse gets an idea so um you know we um we might as well. We were we were we were talking about it. So let's um I'm gonna go ahead and do uh do my Palestine piece, do uh American Desires. This the song was only ever on Twitter. Um and then I did a spoken word version on perennial edition. But uh the song plays a, a really a clip of Joe Biden that just speaks volumes about uh, America's need for Israel. And he says, it's it's the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interests in the Middle East. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. And again, that's one of those moments Joe, Joe is always so pleased with himself when he lets you in on the plan. He, he will very uh brazenly just be like here is here's how i it's that you can tell it's the same way he speaks back room that he's given you just a little a little glimpse of how he looks at it. the same as haiti could 
rise or sink into the ocean, it wouldn't affect our our concerns. You know, that same kind of just callous, like, that's you getting to see the real, real guy. He's been showing us the real guy for God knows how many decades, and we, there's still people that think he's he's our answer, which is cute. Um, but uh, I felt like that piece uh, really, that that said it all. So that, that, that kicked off American Desires. Um, but anyways, it, it, it felt like I, I would be remiss to have a show tonight and not, uh, and not do this. So here it is. Yeah. American desires. Man. Oh, here we go. I don't mean to sound alarmist, but most of what they let you read is garbage. Most of it's designed to warp our minds until subconsciously you find you'll take the time to lick their boots free of grime and wipe their minds free of tarnish. Oil is the centerpiece, a body count of millions is the garnish. So how's it feel to know we funded every carcass? That every year our taxes pay for carpet bombing Gaza under shroud of darkness? That we spend enough a year to house and feed each homeless person in the streets on turning families and apartment buildings in the Middle East to bloody craters full of charred garments. And our media is silent at best. At worst, they can find it in themselves to call war crimes clashes and label children burned to ashes terrorists who played a stupid game and reaped the harvest. And every time we try to paint the truth, the news sends all their slugs to suck off all the varnish and distort it into something harmless. The media will hang you by your feet until you're half asleep. So yes, I'm here to set you free. But freedom won't be sweet because you'll fall a thousand feet when I come cut you out your harness. They say those who dream the deepest fall the farthest. They also say that home is where the heart is. But if home for you is Gaza, Netanyahu's got you painted as a target. Perhaps it's not the impact, but it's what you see when falling that will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the sound of all those children crying out in those apartments that will hit the hardest. Maybe all those little bodies scattered in the dirt will hit the hardest. Maybe seeing human lives assigned such little worth will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the knowledge that you're paying for the darkest of atrocities committed on this earth that will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the knowledge that we give 10 million a day to the oppressors who possess the kind of Medicare you'll die in debt before you see that's going to hit the hardest. Maybe then you'll see you've always had more in common with the commoners whose slaughter we fund every day in Gaza than your senators or bosses. Maybe then you'll see our country never had a conscience. Maybe then the retroactive guilt will make you nauseous. Maybe what hits harder than the impact is the act of being conscious of knowing your complicity and helplessness to try and stop the bloody deeds of Congress. That no matter who's in office, America preserves its foreign interests by whatever means its greed demands, however monstrous. We'll always need a place to train our Contras. And Biden's got a backup plan should harm befall the Holy Land. Wipe it off the map, he'll draw it back on with an iron hand. He demands an Israel or reasonable effigy to exercise democracy and colonize the Middle East, regardless of the human cost or phosphorus atrocities, all bought and paid with money. They rerouted out the budget for the non-essential things like ever making Flint's water clean. Maybe what hits hardest is the day you see this country for its actual priorities and never more no honest peace attempting sleep. Maybe then you'll look at politicians making speeches like a blood-encrusted beast espousing destiny to empty seats and fellow leeches. As the gauntlet of democracy extends its brutal reach, like a giant wave of trash come to crash on foreign beaches, Maybe build a base, throw a flag down, and heavily pollute the region. Rape your ecosystems, gut your fauna, and congratulate you on your new allegiance. <laughs> Oops, we mean alliance. This is something mutual, unless you're non-compliant. We've stolen something crucial on which you can be reliant. So maybe what hits hardest is the centrist saying both sides need to stop the violence. Those would be the very same centrists saying we should all accept police brutality who ham and haw and clutch their fucking pearls and spend their time condemning riots. But very soon will come the day the centrists all get censored like the rest of us and pious as they'll try to be, they won't stay quiet. But they'll just end up shouting in the void that they were all so quick to render us subscribers and it will be too late to light the fires. 
So far away tonight, there burn the spires of a region set ablaze for which you've paid for every pyre, which is why your checks weren't all $600 higher. Call it foreign interests or American desires. What's, what's nuts looking back at that? I wrote that before Netanyahu was back in office. And I remembered when Netanyahu was back, like, oh, oh, shit. Now this is, <laughs> unfortunately, more timely. Had I, you know, th that was, yeah. Um, was that 21? Was it the end of 21, I think? Yeah. Uh, the end of November 21, because like this, because perennial edition was November 22. So Okay, yeah, that seems about right. 